All new at 530 communities nationwide and right here in Connecticut have seen a surge in violent crimes during the pandemic and Governor Lamont wants to use $5 million in federal COVID relief money to fight crime. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live at Hartford Police headquarters with how this money will be spent. Susan. Erin, this money could go a long way to help a lot of communities right now who are seeing a surge in crime. And we're not just talking about gun violence. We're talking about an increase in many violent crimes, such as auto thefts, stabbings, and even drug overdoses. Communities say they need all the help they can get. Gun violence has taken hold of Connecticut cities. Community leaders are once again rallying for peace. Hartford's mayor says police are using all their resources. They have taken well over 100 guns off the street thus far this year. They have made uh, arrests in homicides and in non-fatal shootings at a rate that uh, this city has never seen before. More help is on the way. We are not immune. We are not an island. And I see what's happening in um, other cities and states. Five million from the CARES Act will go towards crime prevention and more DNA and ballistics testing, including 24-hour testing kiosks in Meriden and Waterbury. Violent crime testing can occur in a rapid and almost a three-hour um, time frame if it comes back to a sole source. Car thefts are also surging, more happening during the day and with weapons. Despite proposals for tougher penalties, no action has been taken. Glastonbury's town manager sent a letter to the governor warning things will get worse. He says it seems that every attempt to remedy this problem at the legislative level is met with resistance. It's an issue that we have to address. Now, do we have to pass legislation? I'm not quite sure, but I do realize this, and then we talk about violence. Um, it's not a large population of individuals that are committing these crimes, and we can identify these young people at a very early age. The legislation that was brought up this session would have created tougher penalties specifically on juveniles and police departments say in many cases there are very few if any consequences involving juveniles when it comes to car thefts and the proposal would have created GPS monitoring devices or required them but again that legislation didn't go anywhere. As for the money that is now coming into the state from the federal government that will go we are told to summer youth programs and summer jobs. We are live tonight in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.